think the challenges for the East of England Ambulance Services, the challenges for the emergency care services and the challenges for the NHS are, are no different. It's about how do we make sure that we are delivering the best care for our patients and to do that we need to be communicating across our systems uh, and we need to be leading at all levels of the system. We're able to look at what was good in the commercial world and how that could help us as a provider of services in our case to six million patients in the east of England. To use good industry skills to look at how we drive transformation, how we look at leading technology and how we can adopt that for the benefit of patient care. The data strategy that we're building is over a 24 month period from start to, to finish. We've built the, the core container platform and we're currently working with a partner to actually be able to extract information from all of our systems in a controlled manner in various phases to bring that information into what we call our data lake such that we can then start to derive benefit and value. Initially, the, the first system to move across to the data lake format is our rostering system. That's now completed. We have Power BI reports with information updating every 15 minutes, which was a complete change to what we had previously. Once the transformation is completed, we will be able to have a single version of the truth. We will create a data dictionary which will identify the definitions for each of the metrics included, which will give the organisation a view and consistency across all of the reports. The benefits of having one version of the truth is that it makes decision making much easier from on an individual basis but also on a uh, system basis. So for our individual patients, seeing all their data in one place, having access to records, whether it be their GP record or whether it be the hospital record, uh, allows us as an ambulance service and our individual clinicians to make the best decision with the best available data specific to that patient. So really it's giving our acute colleagues more time to react. They can also understand what type of resources they need to provide and what the patient is looking at. That was all received very well from the NHSE and a lot of the other trusts then followed suit following our template to create a similar dashboard for them to be able to see their pressure points so a more combined view. We've put the patient in everything we do and that's really what this journey is about which is controlling our data, being able to use it for our benefit and for the benefit of our six million patients.